Good day to everyone and a pleasant morning. I am Rigo Gaiti KNS and for today I will be discussing the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports. So the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports is the one responsible for setting out and implementing government policy on professional training and delivery of the education. We have here the Chapter 1 which is the General Provisions and under the Chapter 1 is the Section 54, the Declaration of Policy. The administration of the education system and pursuant to the provisions of the Constitution, the supervision and regulation of educational institutions are hereby vested in the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports without prejudice to the provisions of the Charter of any state, state college and university. In Section 54, it states that the administration of the education system is now vested in the Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports without prejudice to the provisions of any state, college, and university. When we say prejudice, it is being biased, so without being biased to any state, college, and university. Now let's move on to the section 55, with it, which is the organization. The ministry shall be headed by the Minister of Education, Culture, and Sports, who shall be assisted by one or more deputy ministers. In section 55, it states that uh, Ministry of Education, Culture, and Sports should be headed by a ministry and should be assisted with, by one of the deputy ministers. Now, in section, section 56, the National Board of Education is hereby abolished and its appropriations, personal records, and equipment are hereby transferred, transferred to the Office of the Minister of Education and Sports. Sports. So, uh, diba? Uh, the education is now vested in the Ministry of Education Culture and Sports. So, in the Board of Education, uh, everything that is, uh, rec uh, every records, personal records, equipment, uh, should be transferred to the Office of the Ministry of Education Culture and Sports. Okay, sila, sila naman ang, um, sila naman ang, anong tawag ay? Sila naman ang gahold sa education, sa education system. So now, let's proceed the section 57 functions and powers of the ministry so uh, there are seven functions and powers of the ministry and the number one is to uh, promulgate general education objectives and policies and adapt long-range educational plans so the ministry has the power to formulate general education objectives and policies and they also have the power to adopt long-range educational plans number two they have also the power to plan develop and implement programs and projects in education and culture. Number three, they uh, also have the power to promulgate rules and regulations necessary for the administration, supervision, and regulation of the educational system in accordance with declared policy. Number four, they also have the function to set up general objectives for the school system. Number five, to coordinate the activities and functions of the school system and the various cultural agencies under it. And uh, number six is to coordinate and work with the agencies concerned with the educational and cultural development of the national cultural community. And lastly, is to recommend and study legislation proposed for adoption. So this seven here is the functions and powers of the ministry, which is under the section 57. Let's proceed with the section 58, the report to the Batasang Pambansa. The Minister of Education, Culture, and Sports shall make an annual report to the Batasang Pambansa on the implementation of the National Basic Education Plan, the current, uh, the current condition of the education sector and the effectiveness of the education programs, the adequacy and the deficiency of the appropriations, and the status of enrollment of the academic, academic facilities, the concentration of low-income groups, or the supply of teaching and non-teaching personnel with such comments and accurate recommendation 30 days before the opening of its regular session. So under this the section 58, the, it states here that the Minister of Education, Culture and Sport and Sports, uh, kailangan kailangan yapo niya mag mag report sa batasang pambansa kung unsa na ba ang naitabo sa uh, sa condition sa education sector, kung effective ba ang mga gipatupad niya education programs kung kamusta na ba ang uh, status sa enrollment, kung ang mga uh, okay ba ang mga academic facilities, and also po sa mga income sa, uh, apil po sa ilang report ang mga income sa ilang teaching and non-teaching personnel. Yes. Now, let's proceed to the Chapter 2, which is the Board of Higher Education. 
So under chapter 2 is the section 59, which is, which is the declaration of policy. Higher education will be geared towards the provision of better quality education, the development of middle and high-level manpower, and then and the intensification, intensification of research and extension services. So, in, in section 59 states that uh, higher education, kailangan, nila, kailangan sila handa to, to provide a better quality education and to develop the middle and high level manpower. And then, we have here the section 60, which is the education, the organization of the Board of Higher Education. The Board of Higher Education is reconsulted as the advisory body to the Minister of Education, Culture, and Sports. The board shall be composed of a deputy minister of education, culture, and sports, designated as chairman and four other members to be appointed by the president of the Philippines upon nomination by the minister of education, culture, and sports for a term of four years. In section 60, um, very understandable national from the word the organization of the board of higher education. So the minister of Education, culture, and sports should have an organization of the board. Uh, ang ilang board should compose a, champion a deputy minister, of, uh, deputy minister. Then kailangan po nila mag, mag designate of chairman of other four members. Nga kana sila yapoy na sa, sa president of Philippines. So mag mag kwana sila mag look mag mag hatag silang service for a term of four years. Now let's proceed to the section 61, which is the functions of Board of Higher Education. Number one, to make policy recommendations regarding the planning and management of the integrated system of higher education and continuing evaluation thereof. So, ang board daw, um, and the board has the function to make policy recommendations regarding the planning of management sa system sa higher education. Number two, to recommend to the Minister of Education, Culture, and Sports steps to improve the governance of the various components of higher education system at national and regional levels. So the board also has the power to recommend to the Minister of Education, Culture, and Sports. Na pwede sila mag pwede sila mag maghatag sa ilang silang idea kung sa ilang makita na makaimprove sa governance sa higher education o sa national and regional level. Number three, to assist the Minister of Education, Culture and Sports in making recommendations that lead to the generation of resources and their allocation for higher education. So the Board of Higher Education also has the function to assist uh, the Minister in making in, uh, making recommendations uh, relate to the uh, generation of resources and their allocation for higher education. Now let's proceed with the chapter 3, which is the, the chapter 3 na ba? Ah, yes, yeah, chapter 3 na. The chapter 3, which is the Bureau. Uh, under the chapter 3 is the section 62, the Bureau of Elementary Education. So, this are the, there are three, three, three functions of Bureau of Elementary Education na kailangan nila i-perform. Number one is to conduct studies and formulate, develop, and evaluate programs and educational standards for elementary education. So, the Bureau of Elementary Education, uh, alam function kay mag-conduct sila studies o mag-formulate sila o mag-develop sila o mag sila sila mga program, programs na maka-improve maka sa standards sa elementary education. Number two, undertake studies necessary for the preparation of prototype curricular designs, instructional materials, and teacher training programs for elementary education. So the Bureau of Elementary Education has that function na uh, mag-undertake silang study na kailangan para sa, para sa mga training para sa mga teacher na under sa elementary education. So sila mag-conduct silang mga programs, mag-undertake silang mga studies to improve the elementary education. Number three, to formulate guidelines to improve elementary school physical plans and equipment and general manage, management of the school. So, ang Bureau of Elementary Education, um, na sila function niya, mag-formulate sila mga guidelines niya maka-improve sa elementary school, uh, elementary school level education. Now, let's proceed with section 63, which is, oh, nabali. Nabali. Uh, 63, which is the Bureau of Secondary Education. 
um, the Bureau of Secondary Education shall, be, shall, shall perform the following function. So the Bureau of Secondary Education has three functions. And the number one is to conduct studies, formulate, develop, and evaluate programs and educational standards for secondary education. So kung ang Bureau of Elementary Education kay mag-conduct ng studies para mag para ma-develop o mag-hatid sa mag evaluate ng programs to develop the elementary education, hindi na po sa Bureau of Secondary Education kay pariha lang man po. Pero ang para sa Bureau of Secondary Education kay para ma para ma-develop ang ang standards sa secondary education. Number two, to develop curricular designs and prepare instructional materials, prepare and evaluate programs to upgrade the quality of teaching and non-teaching staff at the secondary level. So the Bureau of Secondary Education has the function to develop or develop curricular designs and prepare instructional materials, mag-evaluate sila mga programs para ma-upgrade ang quality of, of teaching and non-teaching staff sa secondary level. Ay, nabali. Number three is to formulate guidelines to improve secondary school physical plans and equipment and general management of the schools. So, para sa kung sa elementary education, uh, the secondary bureau of secondary education also has the function to formulate guidelines to para ma improve the secondary school level. Yes. Now let's proceed with ay nako. Let's proceed with section sixty four which is the Bureau of Technical and Need Vocational Education. So, kini sila, murag mauni sila ang mga, uh, when we say vocational, no? murag mauni sila ang mga non-teaching guru. No, I know. The section 64, which is the Bureau of Technical Need Vocational Education. So, the Bureau of Technical Need Edu Vocational Education also has three functions. Number one, which is to collaborate with other agencies in the formulation of manpower plans. So, ang Bureau of Technical and Mid Vocational Education, kailangan nila mag-collaborate sa other agency para mag-formulate o manpower plans. Mga plano, kailangan nila makig-meet, makig makig-istorya sa other agency. Number two is to conduct studies, formulate, develop, and evaluate post-secondary vocational technical programs and recommend educational standards for these programs. So the Bureau of Technical Mid Vocational Education uh, has the function to conduct studies, formulate, develop, and evaluate post-secondary vocational technical programs and recommend educational standards for these programs. Sila mag-conduct sila studies, mag-develop, and also sila mga mga programs na maka maka improve sa secondary vocational technical technical programs and can okay po ba makarecommend magrecommend po sila educational standards educational standards para aning nga programs number 3 to develop curricular designs and prepare instructional materials prepare and evaluate programs to upgrade the quality of teaching and non-teaching staff and formulate the guidelines to improve the physical plan and equipment of post secondary educational technical schools so ang function sa Bureau of Technical Need Vocational Education kay same same lang siya sa Bureau of Secondary Education they also have the function of, to develop the structural designs and prepare instructional materials and also to upgrade the quality of teaching and non-teaching staff. And now let's proceed with sec Section 65, which is the Bureau of Higher Education. So, the Bureau of Higher Education has five functions. And number one is to develop, formulate, and evaluate programs, projects, and educational standards for a higher education. So, kini sa higher education na, murag mauna ni siya sa college, which, uh, or sa tertiary. So, the Bureau of Higher Education has the function to develop, formulate, and evaluate programs, projects, para sa, sa para ma-improve ang standards sa higher education. Number two is to provide staff assistance to the Board of Higher Education in its policy, formulation, and advisory functions. So, sorry, sorry, sorry guys. Kung medyo yagaw siya kayo. Naram ko boarding house good po. Sabat dyan siya. Sorry. So, balik ka. Number two, provide staff assistance to Board of Higher Education in its policy formulation and advisory function. So, the Bureau of Higher Education also has the function to provide staff assistance to the Board of Higher Education. So, and its policy formulation and advisory function. Number three, the, uh, the Bureau of, Edu of Higher Education also has the function to provide technical assistance to encourage institutional development programs and projects. 
Number four is to compile, analyze, and evaluate data on higher education. And lastly, to perform other functions provided for by law. For, provided for by law. And uh, that's all for my report. Thank you very thank you very much. I hope you learned something in my report. Thank you.